hello friends uh, welcome again in this video we are going to learn about a new sensor and that is ambient light sensor it is also a light sensor just like photo register or LDR that we discussed earlier but this is more focused on the ambient light that means it can detect light from all the direction the issue with photo register is it's a very small area and it is directed so the light has to fall on the surface and uh, the intensity should be very high to change the resistance value here we can sense the ambient light of different intensity so we have only two terminals one is emitter one is collector uh, which looks uh, something like the terminal of uh, a BJT a transistor so and we don't know whether it is an analog or digital sensor so we are going to check it in the same way we do it for all the sensors I'll try to connect it on one of the analog pins and uh, normally the collector pin goes to 5 volt the emitter pin goes to ground if you have doubts you can go and study about the data sheet of this sensor and verify how to connect it so I take one resistor and I this is the collector side uh, maybe I can rotate it or this way also we can connect and on the collector side we connect and emitter as we said we will connect to the ground so let us just make the connections with proper colors okay now uh, this is uh, red color or orange anything we can take now we are going to read the value on analog pin number a0 fine so simple thing and we write a simple code throw the previous code if you have anything and simply say go to input read analog pin go to output print serial the value of a0 start the simulation okay so it is giving 1023 and as I move so you can see this is 900 800 700 500 going till 500 so definitely analog sensor right so the range is from 550 to 1023 let me just do one thing if I change this value of resistor from 1 kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm is there any difference in the values so the internal resistance of the sensor yes so you can see it is working fine now it is going to 10 and 1023 but the range is very limited on this side so you need to properly balance the value of resistance C. after this the values are only 10 or 20 this is how you can match the connection resistance okay so if I take something like 3 kilo ohm and I try it so I'm getting 1023 900 400 500 something 300 in the center and then it goes so maybe 2 kilo ohm will be a very best option and we try with 2 kilo ohm and this is 1000 in the center we have 500 at the corners we have something like 80 this is good okay so once we know how to read the sensor after that it is all up to you what do you want to do so I have an ambient light sensor which is attached outside my home and I have a street light in this application I want to make a very simple system if the darkness start coming if the evening start growing I just need my light to be on my street light outside my home and if it is day then it should be off right so as we can see when we are on the darker side when it is in the darkness the values are on the higher side and when it is on the sun side the values are lower so we can take a bulb
and uh, connect it so this is terminal 1 terminal 2 one terminal will go to ground one terminal i connect it to pin number 10 and we can give the color codes just for one is also fine and the coding uh, you would have guessed that will be much simpler we just need to take an if else condition read the values compare it compare this analog value at a0 if this value is less than or let, let us say greater than some threshold maybe 700 if this is the case then pin number 10 that means set digital pin 10 to high you can put some weight there oh i am putting it here right and then you just duplicate in the else condition you make it low let us see if it works start the simulation it is dark so the light is on and as i go towards the sun that means more ambient light the light is off less ambient light and it is on so here this hello world is being printed because i did not remove this line uh, you can keep it and you can also sense so what i'll do i'll put it read analog pin and it will keep showing you that what is your current value the current value is 1023 which is more than 700 and as i go 500 it will be off just a simple application but you can integrate your own ideas that what do you want to control with this sensor in the next sections what we are going to do we are going to make systems with multiple sensors how to integrate these small small applications to make a larger application so stay tuned and keep learning thank you